Hey fam, and thanks so much for coming back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So this week I have been talking about a little bit more of a somber yet serious subject of emotional abuse. And if you have not watched the two previous videos, definitely go ahead, click the description box below to check out those videos, which is defining what emotional abuse is and the 10 signs that you may be in an abusive relationship. And then the second video is the long-term effects of staying in an abusive relationship. And today, to wrap up the series, I will talk about how to overcome your emotional abuse. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back today. So we are overcoming our emotional abuse and the emotional abuse that we suffer at the hands of our abuser today. And um, I'm going to give you five tips on how to do that today. Now, I read something because I've actually never personally been in this situation, but I did read a few articles about people who have been in this situation. And basically what they're saying is that there is a way for you to absolutely overcome an abusive relationship, being in an, in, an emotional abusive relationship. And everything boils down to you and the work that you're willing to do and understand that it's going to be a slow process. And it is just that. It is a process. But if you keep pushing forward, you will overcome the feelings of guilt, the feelings of shame, the feeling that you need to, you know, want to still be attached to that person. You will overcome all of that if you take it one day at a time and also understand that it is a process, but it can happen for you just as much as it happened for them. So the first thing is to understand that you have to be focused on healing yourself and, and, and having empowerment within yourself and also growing from this. You're growing from this. You're healing from this. You're, you're reclaiming your power from this situation. And so that is something, again, it's a process. It's not going to happen overnight. You're not going to feel powerful or empowered overnight. You're not going to get the healing overnight. But you definitely can grow through this each and every day. The second thing is that I don't want you to feel like you will never be healed until your partner gets healed because the truth of the matter is it's not about your partner. It's not about the abusive person, especially if you are still in the abusive relationship, but maybe you want to work it out. Or even if you have left the abusive relationship, it's not about you healing only if and when the person, the abuser was doing this to you heals. No, because you have to know that you are going to heal on your own and that you deserve to be healed. You deserve to move past this period in your life. The third thing to understand is that you have to focus solely on yourself. You have to not focus on the abusive person any longer. It's all about you. Because it's going to give you renewed strength and renewed power. And it's going to shed that guilt and that shame. It's going to take it away from you. But you have to start focusing on yourself. And take responsibility for the fact that you were in that situation. Maybe you didn't choose it in the beginning. But as you stayed, as you figured out this is what was happening, it became a choice. And now you're choosing a different path. Now you're choosing a different lifestyle. Now you're choosing your voice once again. Because when you have a renewed and, and deep passion and compassion for yourself, you'll be able to have deeper compassion for the abuser. And you'll be able to understand at least a little bit better about their resentment, and that anger, and just them being abusive, period. Now you're having the compassion in order to 
understand what was going on with them. And it's not going to happen overnight. Once again, this is a process. But once you start to focus on you, you'll be able to shut down a lot of the different voices that were in your head. And you'll be able to consciously make the decision to say, you know what? They hurt me. He hurt me. She hurt me. But now I have the power back. They can no longer hurt me anymore. They can't make me feel worthless. They can't shatter my self-esteem. They can't corrupt my confidence. I have the power. I'm taking it back. And in the same token, you can understand that they were the ones who had the problem. Number four is forgiveness. See, forgiveness is an essential part of you healing and growing and being able to move forward from this. You're not forgiving the person because they deserve your forgiveness. You are forgiving them so you can take the control back. Yes, 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 yes. Because this is an essential portion of you healing and growing. Please understand that. This is a process. Forgiving them gives you the control back. It helps you heal much faster. It helps you grow much faster. It's not easy. Not easy to do. It's simple, but it's not easy. Because there are going to be times that something that they said to you is going to pop up. And you're going to feel like all of that anger and resentment that you've been holding on to is still is about to boil over. And that's okay. But let that pass. Forgive him. Forgive her for how they made you feel. Forgive them for all of the, the, the terror that you felt inside. Forgive them for all of the shame that you felt. Forgive them for the guilty feelings that you felt. Forgive them, period. This is the true way for you to take back your life and start to truly live your life once again on your terms. The fifth thing to do is to identify yourself as being a victim or a person who actually has come through on the other side. There's no shame in that. It's a part of your life's story. And maybe you can tell your story and share your story with somebody else to help them to have the strength and the courage to get out of their situation. So you want to outgrow feeling like you have to walk on eggshells. You want to outgrow that. And you will outgrow that. You don't want to feel like you simply survived it. Right? You want to feel like you have overcome this. And you only do that by realizing your fullest value as a person. You are worthy. You deserve a healthy relationship. Because here at I Love Me, 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 I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships. That's what we're doing here. Happy, healthy, romantic relationships. And being in any abusive relationships is... is one person is totally unhappy being in that situation and they don't feel like they can get out. And if that is you today, stick around to the very end because the 1-800 number will be there. If you know somebody who is in a situation like that, send them my video series because maybe they don't realize that they need to get out. They don't realize the implications and, and the life that, that they're going down, the path that they're going down and how severe it can be for them, for the health of, for them and their health, and then for the health and sanity of their children as well, especially if they have some. Send them the video series. Send them the 1-800 number. If, if this is you, 
definitely call the 1-800 number. The center will be able to help you come up with a plan and a strategy so you can get out safely. So you can get out safely.